respect. <laughs> I think um, when I think of when I think of respect, um, I think of everybody being their own unique self, their own unique unique little cosmic beings just coming down from Earth. And excuse me, not from Earth, coming down from from the cosmic galaxies of the of the universe <laughs> and everybody's like little um to me everybody you know they're all like action figures that were all sent down in human body life form <laughs> and they like landed you know and we all land and we're unique and i come with these certain powers and skills and talents and characteristic traits, appearances, um, this complex, no complex. I don't know if I come with a complex or whatever, but anyway, those are developed, I believe, through time and you know, raising, but uh, upbringing. But back to, <laughs> since we've digressed, um, I would like to say that I think that everybody are like powerful little cosmic, unique action figures, and everybody should just, you know, embrace and and fool their cosmic unicorn abilities like it's so much of a waste of time for people to look at another person and say oh my god I wish I could be like her or I want to be her I wish I had his life dang he got it going on I wish I had Man, I wish I could. No. That is like the biggest slap in the face to your spirit because your spirit would be like, yo, so I ain't shit. <laughs> okay, that's just me. But, you know, so I ain't, you know, I ain't worth being who I am, you know. It's like you downplaying yourself, telling yourself that I'm not good enough being who I am. So, I don't, you know, but I could be super awesome if I could just be this person. If I could be this person, you know, I, I'd have, I'd feel better about who I am. But you wouldn't feel better about who you are because you'd be trying to be somebody else and being somebody else. There's an emptiness in that because then you realize, hey, I spent all this time developing and cultivating, trying to be like this person. Now, I feel like crap because this is not working out because I realized I was supposed to be my damn self. Ooh. So you get all, you know, your greatness. And everybody would have never wanted to be somebody else if that person had decided to get up and show up and reach their full capacity and go in all their greatness and develop that. So when I think of respect, I think we should have self-respect first for ourselves. And um, respect goes greatly um, in hand. It um, plays out greatly whenever you respect yourself. And you may see qualities and attributes in another person and you respect that in that person, but in no way do you want to be that person. But you may want to develop. Say, for instance, you see somebody that does yoga and you see that yoga has caused them to uh, reap uh, healthy benefits and you want to be a, a yoga person, the person that does yoga. So that's adding something into your life. But as far as being exactly like that person, and doing everything that person does, the way they do it, how they do it, to the point where you take on the personification of this person and you are developing into that person, that is like the biggest no-no. And I've had to find out that by default, and you know, growing up, as especially as a woman, um, black woman, we are told to be so many things besides our damn selves. So um, just being able to embrace the queen goddess blackness of myself in cosmic uni unicorn form um i think that's respect for myself and in that respect i have respect for others and whenever i do see someone that resonates with my spirit the level of respect where people get into the battle of they feel like oh she's trying to be like me or she just trying to be like her or he just trying to ever since he's been doing this and hanging with him he's been acting like him and being like him 
Well, you know what? If there is, there are people that are around you that are bringing out your greatness and bringing out your best and your inner beauty of who you were supposed to be, there's nothing wrong with that. And it's nothing wrong with you developing and, you know, being your best and developing characteristics that you desire to have that another person may have. And you can develop those traits of being a, a nicer person and whatever. And if you feel like you're mean as hell and you're unbalanced in your emotions or anger, rage, and grief, or you're just bitter or whatever, you can, you know, want to be more of a happy person. You know, happy people, sometimes they rock out, you know. There's nothing wrong with switching it up and everybody's like, oh, you always mean as hell, so you do. No, I'm just trying to get this inner peace and let it just soak in and beam out and shine in happiness, you know. <laughs> But um, I think it's important to respect a person being themselves. And when you see another person striving to be their greatest them, because they see you striving to be your greatest you, that is namaste. That is a frequency that you is you have met and you are on that person uh, frequency with that person. You're just on the same frequency and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it means that that person is leveling up what I call level up. You know, I hang with people, I chill with people, but my circle is very small. Um, I have a village and a community of people, but sometimes I'm very distant because I'm 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 a I'm a very much I'm pretty much an introvert, but I, I have extra qualities because of my Aquarian humanitarian traits that come out of me. I pull myself out into sometimes what would be strange uh, uncomfortable situations to provide uh, whatever gifts I'm supposed to give for a purpose and meaning to impact a person's life or my life or however it's supposed to be I flow but I think it's, it's namaste it's just a, a moment <laughs> my soul recognizes your soul when you see another person somewhat on the same path and or I would say and I say the same path because that is something you have to be careful because when you say the same path it almost sounds like oh y'all doing the same thing y'all going the same way we're heading in the same direction we have the same common goal love peace harmony um you know greatness of being ourselves and unity and stuff like that but your path of how you get there is your path. My path of how I get there is my path. The things I may go through, the things you may go through, things that work for me may work for me, may not work for you. The things that work for you may not work for me. And they may, you know, you that life is a big meditation cycle. Every day you get up and you meditate on things of yesterday and you say, okay, today, what happened yesterday that I like and it worked and it rocked out. I'm going to continue to work that and keep it in place and maintain that and develop it. And the things that I do not like, I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of that person. Sometimes it takes a, you know, give and take moment. Sometimes it's not something that happens overnight. Those type things that, hey, they develop over time. And sometimes you can, you're able to acquire a different space in, in your mind, emotions, mentally, physically, so that you're tangibly able to reach all of those Um accomplishments that you are trying to achieve being your best self so that's respect have respect for being yourself be your damn self you know I mean, hey you better rock out cause ain't nobody else here gonna come back and do this shit this time it's gone we can't go back and call up um, 1983 to whatever and say, I'm going to go back and live so-and-so's life because I don't think she did a good job. So, you know, I think you're probably going to be sent back to do that shit yourself. So let's rock out and get it done right now. I don't like do-overs. <sighs> and unless I just didn't know. I mean, I appreciate do-overs, but sometimes do-overs can be a drag. Because <laughs> it's just like, if I just would have did this shit right the first time. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> that learn as you go figure it out figuring it out what are you doing with your life hey living it up to the fullest and abundance peace mercy full of love and light and figuring it out infinite peace and blessings <laughs>